Good afternoon. It's the 2nd of April 2024. It's nearly been a year since I've had my prostatectomy in the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. So, um, yeah, it's nearly my anniversary. So, uh, just a quick update. Uh, this is going to be titled the pre-planning stage for the radiation. Um, I will always go over uh, my journey. I have a lot of people who are new to the channel and new subscribers. And so those people who have subscribed to me, um, just fast forward it to the next couple of minutes if you don't want to hear the little spiel. So 53 years old, diagnosed in August 22. Uh, random blood test Latvia uh, with my partner no symptoms uh, blood test come back 5.6 on the PSA so cut long story short went back to the doctors here in the UK done the doctor's test found nothing MRI test didn't find a lot <clears throat> biopsies had 16 with five come back positive four were three plus fours and one was a four plus three so last year I decided to have the prostatectomy, uh, have it uh, completely out and um, throughout the summer the blood test has been uh, just creeping up and fast forward to January this year we got to 0 0.2 which is a reoccurrence. So in my last video I was just saying that I'd got to a scan. Um, Dr Illy, Mr Illy, the uh, consultant urologist at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital um, um, put in the request for my referral and oncology accepted it. Uh, had the scan, the PET scan, it hadn't detected anything uh, but um, what it did do found some suspicious uh, activity around the kidneys which we will have to have a CT scan for that and I'm hoping it's a cyst more than anything but that hasn't been booked in yet. So where we are at the minute, yesterday uh, Monday the 1st of April we had our pre-planning stage of the uh, radiation Whereas I arrived at half past ten, you go to a waiting room and then you, your name get called, you go into, into a little cubicle and there I was handed my bag of uh, enemas which is um, a little fluid um, tube which is meant to go up the derriere to uh, empty your rectum. So something I wasn't looking forward to, but uh, it's, it's you have to do it. So um, w what they told me was to, to wait in the toilet as it was my first time um, we'd deposited the fluid up the, the, up the derriere. And it was something came out after about five, ten minutes. So then basically you went back to the waiting room and you had to drink 450 mils of water within 10 minutes of you emptying your bowels and your, your rectum, um, which we drunk, which is a normal size bottle <coughs> um, of squash or water. So at quarter past 11, I was called into the uh, CT scanning room and laid on this bed, made feel comfortable, pillows and things underneath your knees and at the bottom of your feet they sort of lock you in to make sure you're, 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 you're sturdy, steady, not too much moving around. So after that um, they done a few scans and I suppose they, they just see what's inside and uh, after after that they come back and um, with an ultrasound just go over your bladder and uh, now I've been asked to up my water intake uh, the previous week up to two liters of water you need to test uh, take every day <clears throat> and um, which we have been no problem um, but with the ultrasound I think they were saying not all of it was going to the bowel uh, whether they think 450 millilitres go straight to the bowel, I, I'm not. I'm not too sure exactly how it works. But uh, um, they were saying there wasn't not there wasn't enough in my bowel. But I think they wanted more. 
And I, I haven't done the study on exactly why they want more, whether it's because they, they, they get more of a, a, a rounded shape of the bowel, or I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, so we've got to go tomorrow again, have it do exactly the same. And I think they're just gonna do exactly the same test and to see if my bowel is the same size <clears throat> second time round or not. They say it's very common that people have to come back two times, three times, just to get the right measurements. I've got my marks on the body. I've got one um, just below the belly button and I've got two on the sides, which they just try and line you up. They get all the coordinates correct so um, they know where to put you next time. Um, so basically the nurse or the radiographer said to me that um, because I'm, you know, I'm six foot tall, 182 uh, meters, my body probably absorbs uh, in different areas if I'm uh, dehydrated, which I'm not dehydrated, but she said, you know, you, you, you know you're, a, you're a bigger chap. You know, I'm 110 kilos. So you know, I'm, not, I'm not small, uh, but not the biggest in the world. So she said, your body will absorb more so she's asked me tomorrow to try and drink more to try and up it to 2.5 liters which is uh, quite a bit but we, we can manage that because what it is i break it down i'll have a a, um, a bottle of squash uh, 500 meter bottle of squash when i get up at six o'clock and sort of nine o'clock and then sort of one at one o'clock and then sort of like four o'clock and then one in the evening time so it's not a problem we'll just you know we've got to do um, what we've got to do so hopefully tomorrow they'll do exactly the same um, do all the measurements again and um, just to see if the bowel is exactly the same if the bowel is the same size then the bowel is the same size they'll probably go with it so where we are at the minute is that um, we are the 2nd of April and I've got uh, 20 uh, sessions booked in uh, starting on the 18th of April and it's going to be every day for a month, not including the weekends. It used to be, and I know different people around the, the globe have different sessions. Some have 33, uh, but I'm having 20. Uh, whether they up the dosage, the, the zap and rate just by a little bit and, and bring it into 20, I'm not exactly sure. But I think they just do a, a higher dose, uh, the, the people who are on 33. So um, yeah, I just want to keep updated where we where we are. No major, no major big updates. But uh, if I keep doing just just a little bit by little bit, then you know we don't miss nothing, and uh, we go from there. So tomorrow, I hope will be the last time I go up there for a couple of weeks. Um, and I hope you know they did say sometimes you have to come back three times, but uh, it's no great big deal, um, and we we are what we are. So, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, many thanks for anybody who subscribes and have subscribed. I've now got 1,352 subscribers. Again, many, many thanks for everybody who watches the videos. And uh, So we're going to keep updated. Uh, I won't do one tomorrow. I'll do one, say, on the, probably the day of my next uh, or my first radiation zap, which will be on the 18th. So uh, just to show you what, what, what goes on. Um, so yeah, we are where we are. We feel fine, no problem at all, no no difference. Um, so it's been a year since my prostatectomy, and um, yeah, the journey still continues, and uh, we're fine, absolutely no problem at all. So thanks for watching, and um, I'll I'll keep you updated. Thank you.